The United States is an economically powerful country that grows every day. The US is made up of people from all over the globe who are here for one reason or another, and rather they are here legally or illegally. According to a recent research from the Pew Research Center, more than 11 million people living in the US are undocumented immigrants. And according to the Center for Migration Studies, more than 5 million children born in the US live with an undocumented parent. People were migrating to the US during the Great Depression during the 1930s. In the 1950s, immigrants living in certain areas, for instance, The Spanish communities made the area their own by naming towns and streets after the place from the country they left behind. An example of this is the fact that there is a Chinatown in Washington, D.C. that represents what the immigrants left behind. The American government has received the immigrants in a negative way, showing them as threats to the country. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some I assume are good people. People have to be alerted to the fact sure. that we are getting some really bad characters coming into this country. It is easy to judge people by their appearance, but we don't really know what those people are in the background. Many immigrants come to the United States for a better life and risk everything to get here. We need to think how difficult for them it's to leave their country and start a new way of living. Uh, this is my son Jacob Alexander Servan, a year in three months, I think. <laughs> uh, this is my wife, Ana Maria Gutierrez, and my name is Ramon Alejandro Servin, but they call me Alex. I actually have a stepson who's been struggling with that cultural impact that a lot of people go through when they come over here. <laughs> and in my case, I can tell you, uh, it wasn't that easy for me either. Even though I was 11 years old, they say the younger you are, the easier it is for you to pick up the language, but still, uh, there are different struggles that one needs to go through. And um, it wasn't easy for me to, for me to make friends. Uh, teachers would ask me to do book presentations or other types of reports. I would never be able to do it. It, it would be too difficult for me just trying to stand in front of the classroom and, and, uh, and trying to speak something I couldn't speak very well. And, and among other uh, challenges that with time we, I, I overcame, but it wasn't that easy. Hi, my name is Cesar Cordero Dominguez. Uh, yes, it was very difficult in the beginning, because totally different in here than when I came from. Over there, I used to play a lot of games with my buddies, and in here, uh, you don't have a car and you don't have friends, you cannot do very much. My name is Dia Tao. Um, I was born in the U.S. Um, my parents are from Laos and Thailand. I believe it is difficult to adapt to a new culture because um, the rules here are different from what you originally grew up with and are more lax than most countries. There is an organization in Minnesota that supports undocumented immigrants so they can get an official driver's license to drive a car. Mi nombre es Jovita. My name is Jovita Francisco Morales and I am from Mexico. The current name of the organization is Minnesota Immigrant Movement. The purpose of this has been, well, there's a lot of purposes, but one of them is to pass a bill in the Minnesota legislature for driver's licenses. A little bit of the history of why we are doing this campaign, this initiative, is because today, Many people are driving without having a driver's license, and many people drive without having gone to take the exam in the Department of Engines in Vehicles, and for that can happen accidents, and there are not so many accidents, obviously, but we are always a target for the police, the police for all the time, knowing that we do not have a driver's license, and this is used to give us many tickets, or just to take you to the jail, and once you arrive at jail, that connects you with migration. According to MinPods.com, the benefits of having a driver's license being undocumented are many. Thanks to this, they can be prevented from being deported in case they are stopped by the police. Yes, I believe that's gonna be a great <clears throat> opportunity for those who don't have a drive license. Like uh, you know that uh, in here, we do need to drive if you wanna work or you wanna go to school or you wanna go anywhere you want. It's all about driving and it's gonna be more safety for every single people who live in the country. 
Yes, because at least they can get from A to B safely without doing it illegally. Just driving without a license, without insurance. Uh, definitely. I myself do not have a driver's license because I don't have a social security number. I believe having a driver's license should not be in any way related to your legal status because I've been driving since I was 16 years old and I did have a driver's license in Minnesota before. I don't have it now and I can't get one anymore. Not until this, if hopefully the law goes through and, and we are allowed to have one. We need a way to identify ourselves. It just, it makes it difficult for us to not be able to show a Minnesota official ID of any sort. Uh, I believe it, it would just make it easier on everybody. And the idea is to feel that you are making a big effort on following the law and uh, we want to make things right. As of May 2017, 12 states, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Hawaii, Illinois, Maryland, New Mexico, Nevada, Utah, Vermont, and Washington, these districts have laws in their books that allow illegal aliens to obtain a driver's license or some type of driving permit. There are a lot of people that are against immigrants in general and do everything to get rid of them. When you tell me illegal immigrant, I think of someone who should be punished. I think as someone who broke the law. I've broken the law before. I've been punished for it. We as a society should be able to say who comes into our country and who doesn't. We as a, as a country should be able to say, I'm sorry, we don't want your beggars and your criminals. I believe they act upon ignorance. Um, I sometimes want to understand their concern. Obviously, when you have something you like, when you are in a comfort zone and, and you think it's the most adequate, adequate one, you don't want anybody to come and ruin that for you. But then again, like I, like I said, a lot of them act up on ignorance because I believe most of us immigrants are not here to take anything away from them. We're here to provide and, 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 and give and share. And I think if we can just give ourselves an opportunity, we, can, we all can benefit out of this multicultural interaction. According to the 2016 Yearbook of Immigration Statistics, the United States admitted 10.7 million immigrants in 2016, representing 3.3% of total U.S. population that year. Many immigrants work in places where American citizens do not want to work, making immigrants an important part of the United States. The immigrants take the hardest job that nobody wants to do. Then we don't come to take the job, but there's also information that I'd love to get to know these people directly and make them understand that we are not coming to take away everything that I just mentioned, but that we are contributing much more than what we imagine. We do our taxes and taxes are not returned to us because we are not citizens. We believe that this year will be the one to be approved, but we still have a lot of work to do. There are many ways that we can support immigrants with the approval of driver's license for undocumented immigrants. Doing a small thing like giving a like to the Facebook page or even joining to a meeting to know more about this. There are people outside who are progressing by themselves without enough help. I drove past the place where we used to live Where you said you never wanted kids Sometimes something so broken can never be Sleeping more and eating again I'm stuck